So EEG is kind of interesting because it doesn't really tell you specifically what brain structure is being active or the activity of that location, but more about different sites of the brain and seeing if there is brain activity at those different sites. So when they are doing the task, is there certain areas of the brain that are being more active? Well, I didn't even come in as a psychology major, so I had no idea that we had this kind of equipment here. But um, once I changed my major to psychology and I started to learn about the different professors, I instantly knew that I wanted to go to the professor that had the EEG equipment because I felt that that would help me the most in the rest of my career, is being able to work hands-on with that kind of brain equipment um, and give me a lot of insight into the rest of the field. SU has done a great job, the psychology department, the Fulton School, and SU in general has done a great job of supporting me and trying to find the resources that I need to pull together this equipment. People who do cognitive neuroscience, not all of them are going to agree that undergrads should be touching the equipment. So I love that we get the support and a lot of people understand that it's a good opportunity for all of us. So in addition to the, the nuts and bolts of how to do the research, how to apply the electrodes, there's a lot of, of learning how to work in a team, uh, learning how to work with mentors um, who are different and might have different styles and different expectations, learning how to um, talk to uh, members of the community like our older adult participants. So uh, these are all skills that um, are, I think are really important, especially with the older adults with our aging population, that will be really meaningful, I think, going forward in, in graduate school, in the workplace, um, to be able to say that you have that experience.